So in this example, we have a dart that's thrown horizontally towards a dartboard with speed 18 meters per second. It hits the dartboard five centimeters vertically below the level at which it is thrown. Okay, so let's draw a diagram so we can see what's going on here. So we have, let's do something like that, there we are. Okay, so we have the dart being thrown horizontally, okay, with a speed of 18 meters per second. And what's going to happen is that the dart is going to go something like this. And then it's going to hit the board, hit the dartboard, okay, and its final position is five centimeters below where it started. Okay, so this is the picture that we have. So what we're asked to do first is find the time the dart is in the air. So let's set up a SUVAT equation uh, to look at the horizontal and vertical components. So horizontal and vertical. So SUVAT and SUVAT. Now we know that the horizontal acceleration is zero and we know that the vertical uh, acceleration will be minus g. We're going to go with minus 9.8 in this question. So 9.8 meters per second per second. Now as for the other bits of information, we know that the horizontal initial speed is 18 meters per second. So the horizontal velocity there is 18. Whereas the vertical one, well, it's not going up or down at that point, so it's zero, okay? So this is the information that we have. Now, the other bit is that we need to find the time that the dart is in the air, so we need that time there. The only other bit of information is we know that it drops five centimeters in its vertical displacement from where it starts to where it ends up. So that means that the displacement We've got to be in metres, okay, will be minus 0 0.05 in order for us to, because it's five centimetres, we need it to be in metres, and it's a drop down, so we are minus 0 0.05 from where we started. So this gives us enough, enough information to find T. So we want the equation that doesn't have V, so that's number three. So S is equal to UT plus one half a t squared. So the s we know is minus 0 0.05. The u is 0. And we've got a half times a, so minus 4.9 t squared. Okay, so if I do minus 0 0.05 and divide that by minus 4.9, we get 1 over 98. So that means that t is the square root of 1 over 98. So square root of that is root 2 over 14. Or, so root 2 over 14 seconds, which is 0 0.10 seconds to two significant figures. Two significant figures because we're working with gravity in two significant figures. So that is my answer for part A. Now, as for part B, find the horizontal distance from the point the dart is released to the dartboard. Well, I know how long the dart is in the air. The dart is in the air for root 2 over 14 seconds. And I need to find that horizontal distance that it covers. OK, so now, in order to do that, I could use that third equation again, because I don't have the V. So S is what I want, and that's equal to U times T, so 18 times root 2 over 14, plus half a t squared, a 0. And so we just get plus 0 in the end. And of course, this is because the acceleration is 0. The speed is unchanging, so distance is speed times time, okay, using uh, the speed distance time triangle. So we've got 18 times root 2 uh, divided by 14 is 9 root 2 
over 7 metres, which is 1.8 metres to two significant figures. OK, and so they are the answers to this question.